Welcome to this video on how to get into Clever at home. My recommendation is to use Google Chrome. So locate Google Chrome on your computer or download Google Chrome to your computer. When you open Google Chrome, head to clever.cusd.com. When you do that, you will see the Clovis Unified sign-in page. Click on the rainbow colored box in the middle of your screen. If your child protests and says that this is irregular and they haven't seen anything like this before, it's because when the students are at school, they don't see this sign-in page, but because you are at home, this is the appropriate screen that the children will see. Their username and password should be the same that it was when they were at school. The children don't need to add anything after their username. For most children, it is first name, last name, followed by three numbers. If a child has a long last name, uh, sometimes we will remove a few letters off of that first name. If your child has a hyphenated last name, you might need to ask your child's teacher about your child's username. And then in this region right here, go ahead and type your password. Once you have typed your password, please click sign in. Once your child has signed in successfully, then all of the resources that are available to your child will be on display. Some resources require a username and password at home, but when you're on the network, they do not. So you might need to hover on top of a question mark in order to figure out what those sign in details are, or if the child needs to use an email in order to sign into a resource, then those details will appear on the screen. Some resources require that your child sign in with their Google account. So for example, if your child's teacher has set up a Prodigy account and your child is supposed to use Prodigy, most teachers will ask the children to sign in with their Google account. However, it will not function properly if the child has not opened Google Drive first. The other option is that the child would need to sign in using their entire CUSD email. At CUSDstudent.com would need to come next and then the child can click next in order to sign in. If you don't want to remember all of this, your other option in order to save time is to open up Google Drive in order to authenticate that account, verify that it's you if that screen pops up, and then when the child heads back to Prodigy, now when you click sign in with Google, the child will be able to successfully sign in with Google and the child's name will appear on the screen. Click that child's name and then it will take that child into Prodigy. So for any resource where the child needs to sign in with Google, my recommendation is to make sure that you open up Google Drive in order for that resource to function properly. If your child has been asked by their teacher to use iReady, you would come down to where the textbook resources are located and your child will find iReady in the textbook resources. Benchmark will also be located in that textbook resource area. If your family has more than one child using Clever, my recommendation is to come up here over on the right hand side and then feel free to use guest as the login option for the next person. You can either sign each individual child in to Google Chrome. Your other option down on the bottom, I'm using guest, so you can't see guest down on the bottom. Your other option would be to set up a user account for each child in the family. And then each time you want to move that computer from one child to the next, then you can come in here and choose the name of the next child who would like to use that resource. Thank you so much for watching this quick video and have a great day.